everybody and welcome back to another countertop haul video. These are some items that I've gotten so far this week. Um, I've gone twice so far. Wait, no, no, no. I went three times because um, I usually go Tuesday, which is the day after a sale, and they didn't get their truck and I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And then when it did finally come, there was nothing on it. The, I got one thing that was already on the shelf and that was it. So then I went and I checked Wednesday to see if maybe by later in the day they got more stuff out the day before. And I checked Wednesday morning and nothing was different. So I didn't get anything that day. <laughs> so now today, which was Thursday, 50% off day, I went and I checked. And when I got there, as soon as I she opened the door, she goes, our truck hasn't come yet. I have no new carts out. And I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. So they open at 10. I was waiting around. Um, it was almost 11 o'clock and I was, and I bought a few things and I was like, all right, I'm going to go get something to eat and I'll come back. As soon as I got out to the car and put my keys in the ignition, I heard their truck pulling into the parking lot. So I went back in the store, waited a little bit, not too long. They were pretty quick and they rolled some carts out. And the rest of this is what I found today. I found two things throughout the week and then everything else is from today that I found there. So let's get started. That was a long story about that. <laughs> um, I got these cute little gel pens. These are probably some, you know, little cheapy pens, but I didn't feel too guilty for 49 cents buying myself some pens. Then I got this plaid thermos uh, container. It's not brand new, like never used, but it's new in the sense that it's not vintage. So that was $1.49 and it does have all its little pieces in there. And then I saw this the other day and I was hoping that it would still be there. See, it's $5.99. I was hoping it would still be there when it came to half off day and it was, <clears throat> but I figured it would look cute with like, um, like vintage glass bottles in there. It's probably from Hobby Lobby or something. But it would look cute with glass bottles in there. And maybe the bottles have like a little um, sprig or a little stem of a flower type thing in the bottles. I thought that would be a really cute like display. Um, I'm going to explain. I, I, I know you guys are like, oh my God, seeing this. I'm gonna, I'll explain that in a second. Let me just get through to this stuff. So this was in the bin. At first I was like, oh my gosh, that's a cool bronze statue. But then the more I... Um, looked at it when I got it out. I saw that it has little chips. So it's like a ceramic statue, which those can be, you know, touched up. Um, I don't know if someone wanted to paint the whole thing. I guess they could, but it was $3 and it has some kind of, it's kind of heavy signature thing or uh, makers thing on the back that I couldn't really make out. But I saw a few ceramic um, like man and woman statues that had sold not exactly like this one. They were like embraced like that, but their bottoms were, the bottom like base was completely different. So I'll have to look a little more into that. Then I got this Sylvester and Tweety. This is a 1996, I believe it was, shampoo bottle. Yeah. Here, focus. There you go, 1996 Warner Brothers shampoo bottle. You just screw off his head there and the soap would be in his body. I remember having things like that as a kid. Very fun. Then I grabbed a couple of Bath and Body type products. I got some Bath and Body Works um, vanilla snowflake hand soap and a twisted peppermint, um, what you do, hickey. You know what I'm talking about. Hand sanitizer. There we go. So I got those for $2.49. I got this set, um, which is from Christmas 2019. So it's not an old product that was sitting around. Though, don't be intimidated by those either because it's ridiculous the amount of money that um, Bath and Body Works products, like older packaging, sells for. I mean, the the packet, the packaging, like the lotion and stuff is like years old and the amount of money it sells for is ridiculous. And then I got, I saw this, this is a McCoy vase. It's a very common 
um, like shape, but it was, I liked the grayish look to it. I got it for $2.49. I'm just going to put it up there with my other pictures. Did I say vase? Well, it can be a vase. You know what I'm talking about, this thing. It has a chip on the other side, so. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> um, so I'd have to keep it turned this way. All right, so now that I've talked about all that stuff, let's talk about this stuff. So I saw this cart rolling out, and I was like, I told this lady that was um, sort of my competition, but she was, I think she was just looking for stuff for herself, um, not really to resell or anything like that, but she was um, this older lady and her husband, and there was two of them, you know, not, and I only have one of me, so <laughs> this was rolling out, and I was like, oh, that green glass is mine. And she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, yep, that one's mine. I'm just, I'm claiming it because the lady was like walking with the cart to go park it. And um, so I started to grab what I saw. I usually just, um, you know, you, you put what you want in your cart and then check it out later. Because if you decide like, oh, let me go see, um, let me go look at that thing. Maybe I decide that I wanted it. It's going to be gone. So you just kind of get the items, collect all the items that you, you know, you're, that is, what's the word that you think is interesting, I guess. And then you, um, you know, check them out later. So I was putting the little, um, the green glasses into, um, a basket that I've also bought that I'll have to show you guys. And as I went over to the side and I was looking at them, I was like, oh, these are like, these could have passed. But as I was looking at the other ones, like, like this is just too nice. <laughs> I was like, oh, these are reproductions, you know, like this is too nice. So while it has the look of uranium glass, it's not going to glow like uranium glass, but it is a cool way for, for one, for people that like colored glass, um, you know, like, or depression glass, I should say. Um, to have a collection for a little cheaper than the actual thing. So, um, at these prices, I was like, Psh, I'll get them anyway. So, and it was funny because <laughs> I was, there was a, there was these, right? I was like, oh man, they must be missing something, but I grabbed them anyway. And I was looking up this thing. It says 2003 and it said like THT or something on the bottom. So I was trying to look that up, and as I was looking, I saw these little things on the inside. And I go, oh, that's kind of like the fairy lamps have. And then I went, oh, that's what these are. Oh, my gosh. It took me a minute. I was real slow. <laughs> so they're like these little mini fairy lamps. And actually, there was a bottom missing. So maybe I missed one. I don't think I missed any in the cart, but she might not have put them out all together and it could be there later on, or it could just, yeah, it just wasn't there. <laughs> so, like, this is a little toothpick holder I got for 49 cents. But these are all, none of these glow at all, just so you know. Um, I don't know, maybe I should. Here, let me turn off, or not turn off. Let me turn, like, oh my gosh, I'm about to say it again. Let me put my blinds down, and then I'll put my black light on and show you how um, the black light really helps when you have it out at the store, because if you didn't know any better, you'd be like, wow, I found uranium glass. You buy it all and get it all home and nope. So let me show you real quick. I put my blinds down, have this flashlight. And for those of you that are looking for a little flashlight, um, I, I wouldn't necessarily get the black light light bulb, but this flashlight, if you go into the camping section, they call it like a purple UV light and it's just a black light. So, see, it's like purple, um, and none of it glows. So, you'll get it home, and you'll be like, wait a minute, not cool. Okay, so for those of you that are seeing this kind of stuff for the first time, let me show you the difference. Okay, there's that. It doesn't glow. All right, then we're over here at a display, and see how that glows? That is actual uranium glass. That's what you want it to do. Um, if you're buying actual your uranium glass, if you're going to pay the price for it, you know what I'm saying? So don't be fooled. That's why it's good to have one of these. But like I was saying, if, if, if it's a way for you to have, um, the colored glass collection, 
little pieces until like I have never once found uranium glass salt and pepper shakers. So these might be mine for a little while until I could like find my own pair. Um, like here's a sugar shaker, or this could be a way for you to have that look of the uranium glass, the depression glass for those people that are like, Hmm, I don't know if I should be using this because it's radioactive. <laughs> so it's also a good way to, um, you know, have it in your collection and it be a usable item instead of just a shelf display. Oh, I had to pause it. I had to sneeze. Ooh. Okay. So I opened my blinds back up. Next, I saw this Yeti coffee cup and it does have a company logo on the other side of like a Pollock accountant. Um, but that is cool. You do not even, well, maybe you do know how many times I warm up my coffee in the morning if I make myself warm coffee. Generally, in the cooler months, I'll warm myself up, or not warm myself up coffee. I will make warm coffee, and I warm it up probably 15 times before I'm done because I'm always doing something. So we're, we're going to see if that works. I don't know. Maybe my husband will want it, um, but I just thought that. I'm like, holy crap, I wouldn't have to warm up my coffee. So got that. Then, since their truck wasn't coming, like it wasn't on time, um, they were losing money. Like the manager there was like steady freaking out because Thursday is a really good day for them and nobody was buying anything there. You know, nothing was selling. So they made an announcement that all the shoes were half off. So I saw these really here. I'm going to try and gently, I saw these really cute sandals and they were $6.99. I was really surprised because they are stupid expensive on their shoes. Um, so I got them for what? $3.49. So I got those for me. And then I see that I missed this candle. I got a, this is a low profile, um, one of the aromatherapy type candles from Bath and Body Works. It's a low profile because it's lower in size, but it still holds the same amount of wax as a regular candle. So it's the mint and it has peppermint, <clears throat> spearmint, and lavender essential oil. So if your nose was stuffy, oh, that would be great. It smells just like Vicks. That's what it really smells like to me. I know um, my friend would really like that, my friend Brianna. All right, so let's come over here. All right, so they brought this thing out. And I, I at first I was like, I don't know what it is but I just grabbed it and put it in my cart so I can keep looking. And best I can find is <clears throat> people are calling it like, um, what did they say? A, oh my gosh. Now I'm like going brain dead. A, um, well, rotating. I don't, I'm trying to remember the keyword they used, like rotating lid or something like that. Um, butter dish. They called it a caviar dish. There is one, or two or three on there that has this similar sort of pattern. They call it like gods or something, but they want like 250 something dollars for it. I'm not sure about that. Um, and there's some plain ones that have sold for like maybe 15, $20, maybe depending on the maker, depending, and they're real plain. There's nothing on them. Um, I got it for $1.49. I can't find like a maker's mark. Some of theirs had like a silversmith place, like silver plated and with like Roger and Co or whatever on there. But this doesn't have anything. So if you guys have any knowledge in this, do tell in the description or in the comments, okay? I'm so curious. So I got that. Then I found these books. And this is what I, this, the books, and this guy, and these two, and the jug is what I bought um, when I was like, okay, I give up. I'm going to get something to eat. And I got in my car. I paid for myself, got in my car. And then um, the truck came. So when I went up to the counter, oh, and the shoes. I grabbed the shoes too. So when I went up to the counter, because I've gone twice now, and the ladies like are like, no, it's not cool. Um, you know, like they felt bad, I guess. Um, they gave me all the books half off. So they're typically $1.99. And these are the anime books that Bianca likes to read. 
Um, Gabriel likes to read them too, but by certain people. Actually, Bianca said Gabriel could have this one. It's like a video game from Disney. Um, so I'll see if he likes that. He really loves, I always look for him, Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Goosebumps books. But you know what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I go to St. Vincent and normally the books are a dollar at St. Vincent, which is pretty good. I mean, I know yard sales, you can usually get them for a quarter, 50 cents or whatever. But I have, you have a better, what's the word? Um... Oh my gosh, I know you guys are probably like, I don't know, luck, I guess. You have a better, a bigger chance of spotting them in the thrift store than I do at a random yard sale. Um, <clears throat> so I go to St. Vincent and I look for them and then I see they always price them at $5. And I was like, I'll just go to the bookstore and get him one that isn't like scribbled in or have the beat up cover or something for that price. I don't know, that's just me. Then they have this roll of bubble wrap for 49 cents. So I made sure to grab that. So that was cool. Then I grabbed, I know like there's someone on here that doesn't like that I say the word grab. Oh well, <laughs> I got this clock and um, I uh, asked the girl, I was like, oh my gosh, do you have a double A battery so I could check it? And she gave me the AA battery. She says, I don't know if these work though. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Cause I asked her for, to look at a clock the other day, needed a battery and it seems like it didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I really like that clock from the other day. I'm going to like bring my own battery like I should have done and check that clock. Cause I'm, I'll probably end up getting that clock, but, um, this does work. It doesn't have, you know, a second hand, but you can hear it. Can I hear it anymore? Oh yeah, I can hear it ticking, okay. Um, so yeah, it's this like airplane propeller type clock I got for 249. Then this sponge, not sponge, splatter, like um, splatterware enamel, splatter enamel, however you wanna call it or list it, was in there. It's these three and then let's see shoot she made the tape come all off and then there's the red one i've done pretty well with the red i've never had the blue before so i had like a splatter a couple of bowls that i sold and then i had a um a colander that i sold so let's go over here i got this brand new puzzle and there was uh, a few of these listed for like 30 bucks. So I was like, yep, I'm gonna grab that. Uh, let's see, I got it for $1.49. I was trying to see if I could see a year. Hmm? Nope, 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 okay. But it's brand new nonetheless. It's a really cool image. All right, I got this wannabe sort of copper. It's not real copper. It would be a little heavier. Yeah, see, made in Hong Kong. This vintage, um, um, like native bird brace or bracelet. It's a bell, it's not a bracelet. I got this for 99 cents the other day. That was all I got the other day. I think that, or was yesterday when I went to go check and see if they put anything out. Then I about died when I saw these. These are so gorgeous. Look at these. Hold on, let me put them up here. Look at that. Wow. I didn't see anything in here. Like a maker or anything. But these are so cool. Kind of art deco-y, you think? But I got them for $2 each. And the very last thing that I have to share with you guys from Salvation Army was this that I got on Tuesday when I went to check the day after the sale. Um, it's a Derby Lane Greyhound Racing plate. Derby Lane is actually in St. Petersburg, um, right across the bridge from Tampa. I used to drive past this every single day when I would go to my pay by the pound Goodwill that I lived by. Um, but 
don't live by it anymore, sadly. Um, it's actually a Homer Loughlin plate. And that date, or that date, um, that marking, that Homer Loughlin Best China, that how that's shaped right there, dates it. Even though I was like, hmm, this is like a restaurant wear type. I don't know. Um, but it supposedly dates it to 1990. But let me tell you something here, though. This here, Homer Loughlin brush, this, not this, but that part says it's 1990. This wasn't included in the, the information about the markings. So if you guys know better, you maybe let me know. Um, but that's what I could find on that. I couldn't find another Derby Lane plate. So anyways, that is a lot of talking for me. I know I stumbled a bit. Um, got a lot going on in my brain. <laughs> So let me know, guys, as usual, what is your favorite find from this week's Salvation Army Hall? What might you have left behind? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe you guys know a little bit about this flying saucer here. <laughs> hmm, maybe you guys wouldn't have gotten this Yeti cup because it says that on the other side. But I will be happy to not warm up my coffee 552 times. Maybe you wouldn't have gotten the re reproduction uranium glass. I don't know. Maybe you would. Maybe you love the belt. So you guys let me know, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos because it helps me out. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.